Rochelle. You guys have seen her before. Um, and I, I want to show you, I've had a request for um, showing how I weave, <clears throat> excuse me. So what I like to do when someone comes in, I love to just comb through their hair. You can see that she's um, ready for a color and we're going to brighten up her roots and brighten up the red. So I just like to take a brush through the hair, just brush it out. Okay, perfect. Was that bed head that she had, by the way? Oh, she, that was her bed head. Hi, it looked like it was done. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome, right? Because somebody did ask about that as well. Like, what does it look like in the morning when you wake up? But it, really? it yeah, goes right was, back, right? Yeah, well, and that was her just seriously coming from the night before. So, anyway, yeah. So, it looks that good when she wakes up. Well, that that was better I than tweaked some. It a tiny bit. I tweaked yeah, it. Yeah, but it's easy to tweak it. It's easy to get in and actually tweak it and get it back to what it is. It, it looked cute. True, okay. true. Um, so, the other thing I want to share with you guys is my color and what I do. I always use Goldwell. I love Goldwell. Um, have always used it. It's like almost. It's the highest, probably the most expensive you can buy, but it is so worth it. I promise. Um, so I use the Dust Free um, Platinum Lightning Powder. So this is awesome. Anyway, and I love it. It's the blue powder. It's a blue powder. So I take just a scoop. I love to, to use 40 volume because you can see she's a little darker on her root area. Um, this will lift up to four levels, the 40 volume, and I'll show you this. Same thing, it's gold well. The 40 volume will lift up to, you know, four, four shades lighter. Now these are professional products, only professionals can get gold well. Just yeah, FYI yeah, to all of you guys out there that aren't professionals. Yeah, that's that's true. That is, I get it from Cosmoprof. This is where I get it. Um, this is a 10 volume, which means you can see I've grabbed it when I've had color on my gloves. Um, this is a 10 volume, and what it does is it it's deposit only. Um, and if you have gray, you're going to want to use a 20 volume because 20 volume um, actually covers gray. So if you have gray, you're going to want to use 20. Um, I use Top Chic. What that means is it's permanent. This is a 4R, and this is the red um, that I put in my sister's hair. So I use the bleach and the red. My foils, I love the pop-up foils. These are amazing. These are Product Club. Um, the big box is a long foil, so if you have medium to long hair, it's, it's a long foil. If it's like for shells, this little box, I like to use the shorter foil, so you can see the difference in that. Um, the other thing, I love my Cricut combs. This is a weaving comb, and I love, it's, it's Cricut. Okay, then I always start back here. Now, depending on how tight it is back here is how far you're gonna wanna come down with your color, okay? If it's tight, you don't wanna come clear down here because it'll look spotty, so you wanna come up a little bit. Um, Rochelle's I start up here and then I just just push this hair away now I only do you don't want to do a large <clears throat> a large section and you can see see how it's not wide and the reason you don't want it wide is because you can get close to the scalp okay and and so you don't have regrowth with that color so I just come here I do like a medium weave you can see that in fact, I'll hold this up. You can see that's that's kind of a medium weave, okay? And then I just take my foil and I, I just bend the foil over my, my comb. Then I hold this hair up, put the foil down, and then just hold this hair down like this, okay? And shorter hair, especially if you're just starting out, is harder to weave. It's hard to kind of hold the hair and stuff but you'll get it, just keep going. Um, so this is the bleach. Now you can see, see her ends that are already blonde. You're not gonna come down on that bleached part already. You're just doing this dark part, okay? Now the other thing you need to realize is uh, bleach will swell when it gets warm, okay? It's gonna expand. So you can see that I'm almost up to the end of the foil 
but not all the way to the foil because what that's gonna do is that's gonna expand. So you don't want it to come over the foil into this hair or you're going to get um, tiger stripes, okay? Which means it'll color the hair underneath. Then I just push that down, lift this up, and then why I push down on this, I kind of pull the foil this way, okay? And then I just wrap, just fold and fold. Okay, same thing here. I come to the side, take another little section, and I just hold that up. Again, don't take thick sections, take thinner sections so you can get close to the scalp. And then I just do a medium weave. Again, hold this up. And these foils are already cut. That's why I love, love, love them. And my sister, she was ready for a color. She's like, yep, this dark, mm-mm. I <laughs> can't do it anymore, huh? Please, please. <laughs> okay. So you can see that I've stayed away from those blonde ends. Let me push that. Okay, then I come on this side. Take a thin section. Again, the medium weave. Hold this up. Grab one of the foils, bend it over, and I push this down. Now say you're not wanting as blonde, then you're gonna use like a 20 volume instead of a 40. Um, and if it takes you longer to to foil, you know, to color, you're gonna wanna start with a, with a 20 volume and then end with a 40, if that makes sense. So start, if you're a little slower, start with 20 volume, then when you get to the end, go with more of a 40, so it will catch up. So the 40 so faster. develops faster than the 20. Yes, and, and, you know, if you add heat to it, it'll go faster, but it will lift, um, you know, more shades. So like by the time this stays on, um, you know, that 40 volume can catch up to it. So it's all even, if that makes sense. Is it better to have clean hair or dirty hair? Um, that is a, a preference to everyone, okay? Everybody's different that way. Now, if you have a lot of gunk on your hair, um, I mean, you'll want to get it, get it off um, so the color doesn't have to penetrate through all the gunk. But the other, the other good thing with that, um, I always tell my clients, you know, you don't want to do your hair the day of getting your hair done, right? That's the, the best part of it. Um, but the thing with that is your foils, if you have stuff in your hair a little bit, the foils won't slip, especially if you have like longer hair. Um, there's a tendency to have that weight so if you have color on it and it can make it a little, you know, slippery if it heats up, the, the foils can slip a little bit. But if there's texture in the hair and it's not so soft, those foils won't slip. So, so that is a preference for everyone. But Probably not squeaky clean hair, mm -hmm. basically. Right. You yes. don't want super, super and, squeaky clean hair, right. but you don't and, want it to be all gunked up. Yes, exactly. And I will, so, you know, say... Say you need to get the gunk off of your hair and you wash it the night before, let it dry, then it's great. When, when people come, I just add some texturizing spray through it because that's not a lot of gunk, but it's going to give it some texture in there to hold those foils in. So that's what I always like to tell them. If it's gunky, yes, wash. I'll just, you know, add a little bit of stuff in it for some texture. But other than that, you're good to go. But that's a good question because some people will say, you know, don't wash your hair or, oh, you should wash it or the color won't take. Um, so yeah, it's a personal preference. Okay, so you guys can see I've done two more foils. So what I do is I do three blonde. I do three blonde and then one red. So I'm gonna show you guys the red that I put in here. And I do that all across. So I'll come here. And then, as soon as I get this in, I'll show you what I do. Oh, I guess I need to mix it. I have it in the bowl, I just didn't mix it. <laughs> and that's the other thing I should show you guys. Um, oh, 
Okay, I almost have it mixed here. So I, people will ask, you know, what color or, or how much, like half and half of color, what's the, the process there? Um, I am, I don't measure anything of my color. I am so used to it um, that I can just see how much developer and color I need. So, but usually it's two to one, two parts color to one part um, developer. Okay, so that's the red. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do three more blonde. And what this does is it gives that body with the blonde, because it always gives it um, some oomph. <laughs> that's why Rochelle's like, I need my hair colored. <laughs> she needs some more texture in there. So yes, the blonde will definitely do that. Um, so from here on out, after I put the blonde in those sides right here and then add that dark, then I go straight forward this way in a mohawk section. And then I just come down and finish these little parts on the sides. So that is how I color her hair. If you have questions about it, just let me know. I would love, love to answer anything. Um, I always have, I thought I would do it on Rochelle's hair too because I always have comments on um, her cut and color. And so I thought, you know, it's gonna be fun to show like how I color her hair and what we use in it. Um, so yeah, it's three blonde to one of the red. And remember it was top chic. It's a permanent color. Um, I used 10. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe I did this. So I always, always, always add oil to my color. Um, and what this does, I do about three, four drops to each. And what this will do will help block in this color and it will help it um, really shine. It won't coat the hair, but it'll make it really, really shine. And with the bleach, I love, love to add the oil to the bleach because it will protect why it lightens. Um, so I absolutely love the oil. So I'm glad I didn't forget to tell you guys that. Um, some of you guys out there might have um, colored foils. They have colored foils. If you know, if you get talking or whatever, and, and you lose track of how many blonde you've done to, you know, brown or whatever, people like to use colored foils. So they know where they're at. So they don't have to like think about what they're doing. They just know by the colored foils. Um, <clears throat> so you absolutely can do that also. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just, I come forward. I always love to go in the part first. I always color the part first, okay? So I'm coming in a mohawk section forward this way, okay? Same thing, three blonde, one red, this way. And then once that's done, then you can see I just am gonna do the side. And of course you don't wanna come clear down here. I just, I follow from the first line from the back and I just come over here. So that will be the last foil. So I do this little section and then I do this other section. So um, after I do that mohawk section, okay? Then I start here and, and finish. So anyway, um, I'm just gonna keep doing that, and I just wanted to let you guys know that's how we color. washed Rochelle and I was going to show you guys you can see the blonde up in here um, 
The red you'll be able to see more when it dries. It's just more of a, a deeper, you know, red. Um, so that'll be fun when it dries. If you guys want to watch her haircut, uh, why I explain it, that's in the, in the links below. I, I have had ladies actually fly in to come get their haircut like for shells, um, and it's been awesome. So you can go ahead and watch that. I'm gonna cut it now, um, but if you want the details, go ahead and watch below. Thanks. She's gorgeous. I love my sis. Um, so anyway, thanks, Rochelle. Love my sis. Do that. <laughs> and um, I just appreciate you guys so much and all of your support. And go ahead and drop below and get on my email list to get some free giveaways and tips and tricks. So I appreciate it. There's links below for her video. Uh, I explain the video when I do it. And also products I would love to get with you. Just email me and we can work something out, okay? Thanks you guys, have a good day.